Safety Instrumented System or SIS. The definition of the Safety Instrumented System or SIS as defined in ANSI or ISA 84.00.01 or IEC 61511 is an instrument system used to implement one or more safety instrumented function or SIPs. A SIS is a composed of any combination of the sensor, logic server, and final element. What is the purpose of SIS? It's for the first one, automatically taking an industrial process to safe state when specific condition violence. Permit a process to move forward in a safe manner when a specific condition allow as a permissive function or taking action to mitigate the consequence of industrial hazards. So the responsible of the SIS is for shutdown function, permissive function, and even consequent reduction or mitigation function. Therefore, in some cases, the SIS is designed to reduce the risk by decreasing the likelihood of the potential hazard. In some cases, the function will decrease risk by reduction the magnitude of the consequence. When SIS when SIS is required, SIS requirements is depend on adequacy of the risk deduction for specific situation. The main concept of necessary risk deduction is the reduction in risk that has to be achieved to meet the tolerable risk or process safety target level for specific situation. Actually, the necessary risk deduction may be achieved by either one of a combination a safety instrument system or other protection layer. Even a person also can be considered as the integral part of the safety function. For example, operator can be alert of the process alarm and perform a safety action based on that function. However, to ensure that the people can be a part of the safety function, the human factor analysis should be considered. Compare between the BPCS and SIS. If think about the component, the SIS and BPCS or basic process control system is similar. They compose of sensor, controller, and final element. Although the hardware appear is similar between SIS and BPCS, but they are very different in function. The primary function of the BPCS is a control loop, which generally to maintain the process variable. But the SIS will monitor the process variable and initiate action when required. This is a picture of the SIS, BPCS, and another layer of protection. You can see from the picture, they are clearly present the difference between the BPCS and SIS. First one and second one of the layer under control within the BPCS. For example, process control system itself and controlled by the operator. The green line process control layer and the blue line the process control layer under the BPCS. Automatic suction by the process variable factor such as the emergency shutdown system or ESD or fire and gas system are considered as the safety instrument system. We can notice the safety instrument system or SIS can be considered in both prevention layer and mitigation layer, different with the BPC8, which they are considered only the prevention layer, not mitigation layer. What is the benefit of the SIS? One factor that we can use to compare benefit of the SIS is average property of failure on demand or PFD average. Since the BPCH, which is control loop to prevent the impact even from occurring when the initiating cord can achieve the minimum probability failure on demand or PFD average is around only 0.1 as per the showed picture in the table. But SIS will consist of several safety instrument functions or SIPs, and each SIP will have a specific safety integrity level or SEALs that 
much achieves a required PFD average depends on the necessary risk deduction. So it range from C1 to C4. In the picture below, you can see the PFD average is lower than 0.1. You can see. The reason why the BPCS is lower reliability than the SIS due to the BPCS operate with a signal that are relatively dynamic. This makes BPCS failure more frequent and detachable by the people. But SIS will action only when a potential dangerous condition is detected. It can be very hard to detect failure mode of the SIS anyway. The below figure is a failure mode compared between the BPCS and SIS. BPCS failure mode are several, such as the control output saturated high, control output high, output frozen, output low. There are so many failure modes of the BPCS, different with the SIS failure mode. There are fewer, such as the fail to function, dangerous, spurious function, fail safe or delay. Three or four function is possible failure modes of the SIS only. Composition of the SIS. The SIS consists of several safety instrumented function or SIPs. Each SIPs or safety instrumented function has a specific safety integrity level or SEALs, which is necessary to achieve function of the safety. Each SIP is comprised of the sensor, logic server, and final element, as per the picture. So this is the basic of the SIS. Let's see the detail in the SIP function in next slide. Thank you so much for watching my video and see you on next video. Bye-bye.